Okay, what's up everyone? Uh, I've been waiting to do this for a while. Uh, I have right here a ThinkPad X60. Uh, this is classic ThinkPad. Uh, here's my X200, but I got this thing a while ago uh, with the intention of Librebooting it. In fact, I got Librebooting's website pulled up on here. Um, so X60s and T60s are actually really nice uh, because unlike other ThinkPad brands, uh, you don't have to open it up and do hardware changes to Libreboot it. You can actually just do it with the software. Uh, so in this video, uh, I'm basically just going to Libreboot this thing. It's a really simple process. I'll just run you through it um, in case you know, you're interested. Uh, but if you want a super uh, cheap uh, and free computer, this thing, I bought this thing maybe 35 bucks. It came with a dock too. Um, and you can, of course, Libreboot this thing with no extra supplies and you can have a totally free computer. Uh, so in this video I'm going to do that and I might even, oh, I, I even have a replacement Wi-Fi that's going to work with free software. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to get into the process. Uh, so let's get this party started. So the first thing we're going to want to do, as you might expect, is go to the Libreboot website. We're going to download a ROM and we're also going to download, you know, what the software we need to actually flash the ROM. So you can go to the download link, as you might expect. Uh, now they're not super clear about what specifically to, to download, but just go to any mirror and I'll tell you what to do. Um, so I'm gonna pick the one in the US. Uh, I'd go with the stable version, just in case, probably doesn't make much of a difference, and get whatever one is most recent, um, or just whichever. Uh, now you're going to want two files. You'll notice there's a ROM folder and there's another folder that is going to have the actual binaries that run it. You can also get the source code if you really want. So I'm going to download the binaries right now for Libreboot. And this is the thing that's actually going to run the ROM. Um, and then click on the ROM folder and you're going to have click on Grub after that. Uh, and these are all the different versions, I mean for different uh, ThinkPads. Um, now I think the X60 is right at the, yeah, right at the bottom. So I'm going to click that and download it. Um, and that's pretty much all the, the software we need from Libreboot. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads folder where I have these uh, two downloaded uh, tar XZ files. Uh, I'm also going to pull, pull up a terminal just, you know, because I'm probably going to do it in the terminal. CD into the downloads folder. Um, now first you're going to want to extract these. So just uh, tar XF and then the name of both of the uh, uh, the archives or whatever and make sure that you know you have them both extracted now after you do that uh, it's probably easiest if you go into the grub folder and find the ROM you want now there are a bunch of different ROMs for different languages and keyboard layouts um, you know Italian Spanish English um, so I as you might expect I'm gonna take US QWERTY now there are two versions one is VESA one is text I'm going to pick VESA just because, I don't know, it's more graphical. I, I've never actually run Libreboot with the text. Uh, but you're going to put it in the other folder, in the folder with the utilities. And that's what I just did. Now I'm going to CD into that folder, the util folder. Uh, and then we're going to actually run the ROM, um, which is, of course, pretty simple. So you're going to want to type sudo uh, and then run flash. And you're going to give flash the option i945 Lenovo and then uh, escape and underscore uh, a first flash and then you're going to pick the ROM that you moved into the folder so x60 whatever it is uh, and then just run that and this is pretty much this is you installing Libreboot now uh, it should be pretty simple it should do everything itself you're gonna get lots and lots of scary error messages just expect that that's supposed to be happening so don't, don't sweat that when it happens. Uh, I'll go ahead and full screen this thing. Uh, but nothing much has happened. It, it, it's really short. Uh, should take a couple more seconds and that'll be it. Uh, yeah, look at all the errors it's getting. That's good though. Um, all right, so uh, that, that should be it. Now as you see, it says do not reboot or power off. Uh, and the Libreboot website says if you see that, that means you won. You, it's a huge success. You've uh, now done it right. So now I'm going to restart this thing. Okay, so now we have our frightening messages uh, telling us not to reboot. So that means it's about time to shut this thing down and see if it worked. Um, now, of course, I'm I'm a little nervous, but of course, if you're seeing this, it probably worked out. I, would I put like a, a, a video when I fucked up up on YouTube? I don't know. 
Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm going to shut this down. And the Libreboot website tells you to shut it down and not specifically just reboot it because it needs some time to, uh, you know, I don't know, time to think. I'm, I'm not quite sure. So I'm just going to tell it to shut down now. And we'll see what happens. Um, so still shutting down. So we'll give it a couple seconds. Let it think. And if it pops up after that, it should everything should be good. But we're not quite done. We have to flash another ROM. Uh, but let's just see if it works. Let's see. Oh man, moment of truth. Oh, there we go. All right. Looking very good. Got my Mo Parabola. Yep, looks like we got some Libra boot. Yep. That was even easier than I thought. Um, so it's not done yet. You still have to flash the ROM, the ROM once again. So we'll do that really quickly. Uh, you'll notice I have some error messages here. Uh, this is just because this is actually coming from Parabola. This is like because my Wi-Fi thing won't boot, but I'm going to replace that in a second. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to log in, 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 log in here and I'm going to flash the ROM again. Okay, so we're back in the system and I'm going to go ahead and CD to my documents folder. In fact, I'm going to CD to the utils folder uh, and I'll LS to show you what's there. Uh, and you're going to type sudo and run flash and you're going to give the same well, actually slightly different of an option uh, for this. I'm slowly copying it from my other computer. i945 Lenovo uh, slash underscore. And this time we're going to type second flash. Uh, and then again, you're going to select the ROM that you selected last time, which if you moved it to the other folder should still be there, of course. Um, and it'll take just a little time uh, and it'll be done pretty quickly. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, already done. So yeah, that's it. All right, so uh, here we go. We got our Libra booted ThinkPad, but we're not actually done yet. Uh, there are two more things I wanna do. One is I'm gonna replace that Wi-Fi chip. Now I couldn't do this before for a couple reasons. Now I run Parabola. Parabola requires all free software. And if you have a non-free uh, Wi-Fi chip, it's not gonna run it. Um, so I would have replaced this uh, before I installed Libreboot, but the thing about proprietary BIOSes is, is that they require you to use the particular Wi-Fi cards that they want. So you can't just replace it with whatever. Um, so now that I have finally gotten rid of the proprietary BIOS and I have uh, freeze and freedom uh, BIOS, uh, I can put in this free Wi-Fi card. That's one of the things I'm going to do. The other is a little tweak. Uh, one of the side effects of Libreboot is in some computers, maybe you can hear it, I, well, I guess I'm recording sound with this, um, but maybe you can hear it, but sometimes there's a little electrical whine uh, that comes with it. Now that's easy to fix, I'm going to do that after I replace the Wi-Fi card. All you have to do is install something, uh, install PowerTop, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and replace this first. Uh, so let me turn this thing off, I just, just like looking at it, look at that, it's beautiful. Um, let me go ahead and turn this off. Um, and I just realized, oh, I didn't bring my tripod today, but whatever. So replacing the Wi-Fi card is actually pretty easy. Um, uh, really, there are just uh, different screws. You want to get rid of all the ones that have, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, what, what's it called? The hand pad, palm, re palm rest. Yeah, that's what it is. The palm rest and the keyboard. And they're marked with these, um, you know, the drill if you've dealt with anything pad before. So I'm going to start unscrewing these. Alright, so once you have totally gotten rid of all those screws, you should be able to sort of put pressure on the keyboard and you'll feel it, um, you know, move, sort of move around. You should be able, let me pry it out a little. Um, that might not even be thin enough, <clears throat> but you should be able to sort of push on it and pry it out um, and that'll get you what you want. And this will give us access to the actual Wi-Fi thing. God, I should have brought my tripod. Give me a second. Okay, so the keyboard short should come out pretty nice and easy. Don't, you know, of course, force it out because it is attached, as you might expect, with this little orange thing. Pull it up. You know the drill. You know the drill if you've dealt with the ThinkPad before, or really any computer. 
Um, and then the other thing is we're going to want to remove this uh, pad here, this uh, sort of hand pad. But I think, unlike my X200, it's attached to sort of this entire frame that goes all around. Uh, so you're going to want to, you might want to pull the screen back, uh, and you should be able to pull it out if you put enough pressure. Did I miss another screw? I'm sorry, i got to check. Alright, that was harder than uh, it was supposed to be, but that was just because it was my fault. <laughs> uh, okay, so final final section. The hard part's over. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't really supposed to be hard. Uh, but so this thing here, here's your Wi-Fi card. So notice the Wi-Fi card I got. It's super small. This is one of the mini ones that came around later. Now this Wi-Fi card's pretty big. Uh, and T60s are actually built to take these big Wi-Fi cards. So you need one of these little adapters. You can get them. They're maybe two or three dollars. I mean, even this Wi-Fi card was like two or three dollars. So it's, you know, you can just get it off eBay. Um, so Wi-Fi card removal, very simple. Gently pull up on these two cords. Uh, and then there are going to be two... Oh, no, there aren't screws here. Thank God, because screws have been screwing with my day today. Um... But there's this little metal thing you should be able to push up, and the Wi-Fi card should pop out, and you can just pull it out. Now, um, the re I, of course, I need this adapter because, you know, the card is smaller. Some models, like my X200, it comes with a big Wi-Fi card, uh, but it happens to, like, have a slot so that, you know, you can fit small ones in. Uh, but anyway, you need one for this one. I'm sure you can probably finagle it if you don't have an adapter, but, you know, it's just 2 or $3. So put this in sideways, and then push it down. And it's going to snap. Well, you might need to pull it back a little, uh, but it should snap in. Okay. Is that secure? Secure enough? No, not secure enough. Um, well, maybe it's not in all the way. Okay, there we go. That sounded like at least one side went in. Um, okay, so once you have that, all you do is replace the cords uh, where they were before. Uh, so I will do that. And once you have that done, you have put everything together. Well, I mean, besides the frame, but uh, it's all just an issue of reassembly. Uh, so go ahead and put your frame and your keyboard back on and screw everything in. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to do that real quick. All right, and there you have it. I'm going to turn this thing on. Let's see if the Wi-Fi is actually working. Uh, now, as I said, I'm also going to solve the problem of the little high-pitched whining that you may or may not hear. I don't actually hear it right now. I'm trying to listen, but uh, I was hearing it before, so you can pretty easily get rid of that, um, uh, you know, just once you get into the operating system. So let's load this thing up, uh, see if the Wi-Fi is working, and then we'll go ahead and install that, because it's pretty simple. Okay, great. Uh, so I've logged in, <clears throat> and I'm pinging my website, so the... the uh, Wi-Fi is working. Um, so if you want to get rid of the whining, it's pretty easy. What you're going to want to do is type in, if you're on Parabola provided, uh, you're going to want to say sudo pacman s, and you're going to install, install the package PowerTop. All right, bam, power, no bracket there. Yeah, PowerTop. So just install that, and it should be a pretty quick install. And once you do that, you're going to want to tell systemd to load it at start. So sudo systemctl enable, oops, it's so hard to type with one left hand, enable power top. Uh, why did that work? No. Okay, actually I just forgot how to do it, uh, how I did it on my other ThinkPad, but it's actually easy. You have to manually add in uh, the, like, um, system D like loading script or whatever not script but settings um, I'll link you to uh, you know the Libreboot website where they do this but basically you just make this file with these settings then you should be able to let me go up and yeah enable power top yep so that works and I'm gonna go ahead and also start it because um, I don't know if you can hear the electric stuff uh, but oh, is that gonna work Great, yeah, okay. I don't know if you heard that, but it totally disappeared. Um, so, yeah, that's great. Um, 
wow, I guess that's it. So we have Libra booted in an X60. Uh, to repeat, this is a computer you can get for 30 or so dollars. I mean, sometimes the, the better quality ones go for around a hundred something, but you know, you can get these things really cheap. Mine is fantastic, in fantastic shape. And again, I got it for 35 uh, bucks. So you can Libra boot this thing in a couple minutes, you know, add in a new Wi-Fi, get everything you want. And um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So I might do a full review of this. Actually, yeah, I'll do a full review of this computer. That's going to be in my next video. Uh, but yeah, so enjoy the fun. Get this thing and Libra boot it and have a blast. So see you next time.